Alrighty, so last night I uploaded a little later than normal. If you missed it, top right hand corner, we did the worst team in baseball, the Detroit Tigers. We did that off season rebuild and we've created a, a really good team. So if you guys missed it, go check it out. Click that little icon in the top right hand corner and then you can click the video and go watch it. But today we're gonna be talking about the team who fired their manager, Mickey Calloway. Then it's just, he's gone. And I think whoever takes over for the Mets, I've heard Beltran's a possibility, Girardi, Madden, whoever takes over has a really good team. You got Nimmo, Conforto, Alonzo, um, DeGrom, Syndergaard, Stroman. There's a lot of good names on this Mets team. And I think they just need the right manager to lead them to a playoff berth and then possibly a World Series. I think this team's got the talent to do it. So if you guys want to see some more offseason rebuilds, let's hit the like button down below. And other than that, guys, let's hop into it because I think the big challenge with this team is their budget. If we can control that, I think we got a good rebuild ahead of us. So we're getting this rebuild started in the offseason like we do here. And I've already like let go of some players, some players that I just didn't feel like would help us out. Brad Brock was one of them. And I felt like the bullpen was the big issue. I felt like we had a lot of um, problems there. Luis Avalon is not coming back. He was another one. And then when you look at the lineup, it's not a terrible lineup, but I definitely think we can find better players. So let's take a look at this roster. DeGrom, Stroman, Syndergaard, Wheeler. That's a good one through four. That's a solid one through four. We brought back Wheeler on a two-year deal, 10 million. And then Steven Matz has a five. I'm okay with that. The bullpen is the big question mark. Jurius Familia is making what, eight? No, 10 mil a year? I don't know if he's a setup guy I want. We may need to get rid of him. And then the rest of the bullpen, big question marks. Edwin Diaz, real life, sim style franchise. He's a question mark. I don't know if I want to keep him. Wilson Ramos, good catcher. Don't have a problem with that. First base, Pete Alonso. I'm not going to freak out about him either. He's solid. Jeff McNeil at second, I think is the the answer we got joe panic jed lowry cano between cano and lowry that's like 30 40 million in contract that i need to find a way to get rid of i think lowry needs to be traded and that'll save us some space we'll just let cano retire next year third base todd frazier for a season i'm not gonna freak out i brought him back three mil i think that's a decent deal jd davis can be that backup Shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Left field, we're going to let Nimmo take over. And then Ioannis Cespedes, he needs to leave. We got to find a way to get rid of his contract. Center field's a big question mark. We don't have a center fielder. And then right field, Conforto. So center field and bullpen are my two big, big holes that we got to fill. And then, uh, yeah, so bullpen and center field. Let's see if we can do that through free agency. Obviously, pitchers would be cool, but we don't really need one. This is the area. So these two were the guys we let go. You can see Luis Avilan struggled. Brad Brock actually wasn't terrible. So if there's no other options that come up, I might actually bring him back. And it's actually looking like for a cheap deal, he probably might be the best option. So let's just let's just do like a, a, a one year 2.9 million. That's not terrible. And then let's look at center fielders. There's no one I'm really like interested in. Hmm. Billy Hamilton, not really. We let Juan Lagares go, but he might he might have to be our solution unless we just wait it out, which might be our best salute, like our best bet. Marcelo Zuna is gonna be too expensive. So let me see if I can get a trade uh to get rid of some of the, the budget that is just a little high. Like maybe a Johannes Cespedes trade or like a Jed Lowry trade. Maybe get rid of Jed Lowry. Let's figure something out. I'll be right back. So I was going through the trades and like this one's not a bad one. I like the option of having a catcher just in case we don't bring back um, Wilson Ramos. And I was going through one. I was like, oh, that's a decent one. A couple trade pieces. And I was looking through them. There were some OK trades available. But the one that really caught my eye, this one kind of did. I was like, oh, a good reliever in Colin McHugh. He's always a good option. Um, but this one right here from the Reds. Amir Garrett for Jed Lowry. Yes, please. That's a good lefty. And I think that's 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 definitely a player I want in our team. All right, so we're trying to found Joanna Cespedes for Ian Kinsler. So to start season two, I was kind of looking for a center fielder because there really weren't any good ones in free agency. So I was like, ooh, we could get Ketel Marte, but I feel like we've been getting him quite often. So I wanted to stray away from him. And again, there really aren't too many good center fielders that are glitchy that I haven't already like gotten in a lot of rebuilds. So I was look, looking around, I was like, maybe Lorenzo Cain, he's a possibility. He he might actually be a good one. He's got two years left on his deal. Kind of a bigger contract though. Um, another player I looked at was Starling Marte. Small contract, five a year. We could even bring him back after the contract expires. We could get him for Kinsler, uh, Cicini or Cicini, Cicini, whatever his name is, and then Mangum. 
or another player i looked at was nick senzel which we would have to probably let mangum go and then bring in ronnie mauricio or andreas jimenez it actually have to be mauricio but um senzel haven't gotten in a while i'm tempted to possibly give him a shot or we could give up less and just go starling Marte. so i'm kind of torn I kind of feel like I want to go Senzel. I know we have to get up Ronnie, give up Ronnie Mauricio, but I feel like this is a decent trade and uh, we're opening up a little bit more of cap space as well. So the first official season of this rebuild, this is how we're looking. Not much has changed. Obviously, I wanted to keep the team pretty similar to what like the actual roster is like. Maybe a couple changes. You guys can see Senzel hops in there. We are a little weak on the outfield spots. We have Cano, who I think will retire after the season. Joe Panic, Nitto, and then JD Davis. It's not a terrible team. I think we, we've got some good players who should develop also. And then when you look at the starting rotation, nothing has changed there. We've added Amir Garrett through that one trade. We brought we brought back Brad Brock. And then not much else has changed. I'm gonna give Familia this year. If he doesn't do well, we'll trade him. And then I'm gonna give Diaz one more season as well. I want to get Giselman or Gesselman involved, but I don't really know how we're going to do that. I think maybe next season he could potentially take over for this spot with Lugo and then maybe move Lugo a little bit lower in the, like maybe the middle relief or possibly a setup spot. So the team looks okay. Let's see how it plays out for that first year of the rebuild. All right, so we made the postseason as a wild card team. But if a team won 100 games and was a wild card team, I'd be shocked. 102 in 60 and we're a wild card team taking on the Nationals. What? 106 by the Phillies? Are you serious? Holy cow. So we're the eighth, eighth ranked team, fourth in contact, third in pitching, and the rest are pretty low. Uh, we had a league leader, DeGrom with winning percentage. Okay. And then we'll take a look at our pitching and things like that. So DeGrom was 19 and five, pretty solid season. Not as good as last year, but still really good. Syndergaard struggled a bit, a little bit. A little bit. Marcus Stroman wasn't too bad, a little bit better than last year. Actually, I might move him up. And then Zach Wheeler did quite well. I'll take that um, for a four starter. Definitely not bad. Even Steven Matz, I'll take that as well. So I'm thinking maybe Syndergaard's a, an issue, but I, I, maybe it's just a bad year. But for the most part, I'm really happy with our starting rotation. I think we're set. Seth Lugo struggled a bit um, for sure. Maybe time to bring up um, Gesselman, Giselman, whatever his name is. Even Donnie Hart doesn't look terrible. He could potentially be a player we use. Justin Wilson struggled a bit. Amir Garrett was really good. I like to see that. Brad Brock struggled. Um, Sawald is okay. Familia struggled. And Diaz did a lot better. I like to see that. That's good. I like seeing that. Perfect. So we don't have to worry about Diaz being a problem anymore. So looking at our team, Jeff McNeil, 312, almost a 400 on base percentage. Perfect for our leadoff hitter. Ahmed Rosario, probably not our two hitter going forward, but it's okay. I hope he gets a little bit better, but... You know what? He'll be our shortstop. Conforto starting to hit that point where he turns into an absolute beast in franchise, which is perfect. Pete Alonso, same thing. He's turning into a beast in franchise. Nimmo, he's he's even getting up there. 26 home runs, 92 RBIs, almost a 300 average. Perfect. Wilson Ramos, not as good as last year, but uh, power numbers went up, so I'll take that for sure. Um, Senzel, about 250, 13 home runs, so not as good as last year, but hopefully he'll he'll pick it up as well. Todd Frazier. Still not bad. Still not bad. And then Dominic Smith was kind of our DH. And uh, not terrible, not terrible. Cano struggled a bit. Joe Panic wasn't bad. So I might keep him around as like a platoon bat. Not terrible. Nido was okay. Not great. And then JD Davis. Again, probably another platoon bat for us. But so far, so good. He might even take over at third. He looks decent. So wild card game against the Nationals. Let's hop into it. Let's see how things go. We're at City Field. Obviously, DeGrom's going to be on the mound for us. All right. So, Turner, Eaton's. I don't think much has changed. No, nothing's changed with this Nationals team. Of course, Adam Eaton. Back to back. Are you serious? What is going on? Three home runs? What is going on with DeGrom? Can we at least get some runs going? Or hits? We only have one hit. There's a walk. Anything? Anything at all would be cool. We're, uh, I think he's done. <laughs> I think uh, our buddy here, DeGrom, is forgot how to pitch. I don't, I don't know. What was that? Um, 
I don't even know if Brock could go. I mean, I guess he went. I meant, okay, he walked. We're going to pinch run. Uh, we don't really have anybody with speed, do we? Not at all. So I guess Davis. <laughs> Fielder's choice. Out. Out. Perfect. Love it. Gotta love it. Let's go to Familia, I guess. Whoa, what? Oh, it's the comeback. Here we go. I feel it. I feel it is coming. Pinch hit. They got a righty in. Let's go to. Do we do? I can't. I can't go to Cano. Pitching change. They went lefty lefty. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change. Most people wouldn't do that, but whatever. McNeil, please. There's one run and a fly out. That's the game. I, what happened to our pitching? We were like one of the best pitching teams in baseball and it fell apart. Okay, let's get into the off season. Dodgers defeat the Indians. Okay, that's cool. Let's take a look. First base coach doesn't want to stick around. I wouldn't either after all of that. Let's keep moving forward. Stroman, hmm. You know what, yeah. Let's, let's do like a, that's a lot of money though. Uh. Yeah, let's do that. Wilson Ramos. I feel like we can get a younger catcher and it'll do just as well. Justin Wilson, no. Joe Panic. We got Alcantara, who's just as good. So I'm going to let Panic go. Todd Frazier, I'm going to let go. Wilson Ramos, though. One year deal. What do you say, bud? One year, you'll be our starter. That's what we're going to rock with. Let's keep moving forward. Um, let's take a look at free agency because obviously we want to target at least one or two bullpen arms. Maybe Andrew Miller. Andrew Miller's someone I'd definitely be interested in. He's getting a one-year deal. I'll give him nine mil. He's not going to be our closer though. That's the problem. He's not going to be interested in that. Hmm. So let's go one like that. He's going to be our bullpen guy. That should put us in first. Catchers, I'm glad we offered Ramos that money. And then, where do we need help? Third base, maybe. Uh, Left field, no. Center field, we got Senzel. Right field, outfield, we're set. So it's definitely bullpen. I feel like we need more help in the bullpen. It's just, I don't like any of these guys. And our starters are set as well. They weren't terrible. So I think that was it. All right, Robinson Cano just won't retire. He'll probably retire after this year now that we're trading him. But we're going to trade him for Michael Yanoa and Il Salgado. The, I really just want Salgado out of this trade. So we're going to take it. Alrighty, so we're in season two of this rebuild now. And I feel like we're still a couple moves away. So let's take a look at free agency, see how we did. Uh, not too much has changed. Um, we signed this guy in free agency. He looks like an okay just like platoon player. We do have a couple guys in the farm system I'm looking to bring up next season, and that's why I kind of held off on them. Um, looking at other players, we obviously made the trade there. And there really wasn't really anybody available that I was like, ooh, I want to bring in. We did bring in Andrew Miller, like I mentioned, and then I also brought up Wilmer Flores. I figured, you know what? Let's bring him back for a season or two, see how things go. So let's take a look at the pitching rotation, which obviously not much has changed. Amir Garrett's up to an 80. I like to see that. Donnie Hart's come up from AAA, and then so has Gesselman, Giselman. I always mess it up. But we actually do have a couple pitching prospects that don't look too bad, who could potentially be trade pieces. And I mean, we're, we're kind of stacked here as well. But even a couple of these guys look decent too. So we, we could make a, a trade or two depending on how things go. But um, I, I definitely feel like we should get rid of these 70s and maybe get them into 80s soon. Um, a player I wanted to look to see that was available or not. Um, Erlin was available and I guess he got he got signed. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we were able to do. Lineup wise, not much has changed. Just Wilmer Flores. Um, looking at our bench, it's okay. Um, the players I mentioned that I was looking at possibly bringing up, Andres Jimenez, his hitting stats look pretty solid. Um, we also have Brett Batty. Doesn't look terrible. We got Jake Magnum, Mangum, who his vision and his contact are what make me want to bring him up over Desmond Lindsay. His hitting stats just aren't there yet. We also have Alcantara, whose hitting stats weren't as good as I would have hoped. 
but we definitely have some depth that we could bring up next season. So that's the year so far. Let's see how it plays out. We'll definitely make some changes next year if things don't go well. So again, we're a postseason team. We weren't as good last year, but this time, actually, we're the same. We're a wild card team. 94 and 69 as a wild card team. Kind of disappointing. Let's take a look. We missed out on the division by a game. We actually did have that tiebreaker at the end of the year. We're the fourth ranked team. Contact and pitching, again, very high. The rest pretty low so we have some league leaders degrom doing degrom things makes sense and then we'll take a look at awards degrom won a cy young so that's good to see we at least have something going for us so degrom crazy good numbers Syndergaard, i just i don't know i don't know that's two back-to-back -back four eras and for a player who's gonna want a crazy good like crazy amount of money do we bring him back you know marcus stroman is going to be on a smaller contract and he's I, I don't know i don't know zach wheeler's doing well steven matz not so much but um we don't really have anybody that can come. maybe we find someone that's cheaper than syndergaard i don't know if syndergaard's the option going forward um he's kind of was meh amir garrett struggled Sawald struggled familia struggled hart was probably one of our better arms andrew miller was good and then diaz so we definitely need to pick up some bullpen arms because they just didn't do well. Our bench, Nido did decent. Batty did okay in his minimal appearances. And J J JD Davis struggled. So it's looking like we may have to maybe bring up some of these guys. Like Jimenez looks like he could come up next year. He looks decent. Um, yeah, I think we could definitely find a way to get some of these players in. We'll, we'll figure out a way to do it. So looking at our actual lineup, McNeil did really well. Holy cow. He's only getting better, which is scary. Nick Senzel was all right. Better than last year. More home runs, more RBIs. Conforto putting up crazy good numbers. Alonzo, same thing. Really good numbers. Nimmo, same thing. Good numbers. Love to see it. So we got a good heart of the lineup right there. Wilson Ramos got bounce back here. Um, we'll see if we pay him, you know, a, a good amount of money. Wilmer Flores might be our third baseman. He was good. I like to see that. Dominic Smith, not terrible. And then Ahmed Rosario struggled again. That's the one thing with him. He just doesn't hit the ball well. So, I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. Again, the Nationals. Let's see how this game goes. Uh, you know what? I'm going to sim this one. Because I always struggle. We won. So, that's good. So, we're going to take on the Phillies now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put DeGrom here. Wheeler here. And maybe... Go four-man rotation. All right, we got it sorted. Syndergaard today versus Nola. We take the loss. That's a tough one. Strowman. We get the win seven to nothing. DeGrom. We take the loss. What is with DeGrom? Just not holding it down. Let's hop into this one. This one's an important game. We lose. We're out. City Field. Zach Wheeler's on the mound. Take with Aaron Nola on the mound. Man, this is going to be tough. All righty, looking at their lineup. They got Ozuna. That's a new one. Um, but everything else looks the same. That's a good start. Just a base hit. That's all that, that came out of that. That's disappointing. Come on. Let's get something going early. That's something. Base is loaded for Nimmo. And he strikes out. Perfect. All right. We get out of that. Man, this is uh, pretty disappointing so far. That's a good start. A ground out. But Pete Alonso brings him in. I'll take that. One run lead. Ooh, why 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 i mean ramos gets us back within one i'll take that um can we steal second no we can't that's disappointing um let's let's take him out let's go to the lefty mats stolen base error that's disappointing let's go to familia gets us the out perfect Alrighty. nothing a double okay strikeout and an out hmm a double to start perfect Let's go Miller. Uh, I feel like we got to go to the righty here. Who's the righty we want to go to though? There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's 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 get this run back. Right here. I can feel it. Please. Pinch hit. Let's do it. Uh, they got a righty in. Let's go to Smith. Does it perfectly. That's what I'm talking about. Pitching change. Diaz shut the door don't let me down perfect that's awesome nice love it we're gonna, not gonna have Syndergaard on the mound because i don't have any faith in him right now 
he worries me he's actually pitched really well mm. all right this is for Syndergaard's Mets career if he does well we keep him if not we don't keep him Pete Alonso there we go one run lead Not a good inning. That's not good. Oh, uh, dude, Syndergaard. I, Syndergaard, 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 Syndergaard. What is this nonsense you are doing? That's a good start. We get a double, and then we only get one run out of it, but we're within three. All right, that's his last inning. Can't, can't keep him in anymore. Um... We'll go him. A double. Okay. No runs there. All right. Cool. Solid. Um, Let's go you. All right. We get out of it, though. That's that's good. Um, Bryce Harper, you are not facing. All righty. Then we're going to go to Familia. You're going to walk people. Awesome. Got to love it. Four-run game. We got two run, two innings to come back. This is a good start. I like this a lot. Oh my god, Ahmed Rosario, you absolute legend. We're going to go to Dom Smith. They're going to bring in a righty, which is perfect. First and second, no outs. Bases loaded, Senzel, sack fly, tie ball game. Yes. Pete Alonso, why did you not score that run? Um, Who are they going to bring in? All right, Sewald, get the out. Get the out. Bryce Harper, Andrew Miller. You walked him. Mm. Edwin Diaz gets the out. Perfect. All right. Come on, Nimmo. Get on base. Let's do this. Anybody. Do something. Oh, man. That one. That one hurt. That one hurt. That one hurt. All right. The Indians defeated the Phillies. Solid. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Exclusive negotiations. Syndergaard, you were trash, and I'm not paying you 26 mil. Andrew Miller, you were really good. I'm going to do another year deal. I'll give you 6 mil. Michael Conforto, you're about to get paid. Yes, sir. Uh, Zach Wheeler, you've been good for us. Let's do another two-year deal. I'm going to bump this down, though. And then, man, Wilson Ramos. Yeah, let's do it. One year. If he'll take that, we're cool. And then Steven Matz, I'm going to let walk. And then Wilmer Flores was really good. How much does he want? Six a year? Can't make you an everyday player, though. What about 6.5? We'll do that. Boom. All right, it's the final season. I feel like the team we've put together is really good so i was looking so before we actually like show you the team that i have i was looking through free agency and i mean look at all these good free agents that are available Corey kluber i i'm actually kind of interested in signing same with max scherzer we got lorenzo kane david peralta chris or carlos santana chris davis archer there's some good names available in free agency like it's it's crazy how many good names are available and i was looking at it and i was thinking like does David Peralta start for us? Does Chris Davis help us out? Not really. David Peralta. I mentioned uh, Chris Davis. Who else was there? There was like D. Gordon, Carlos Santana. And I'm like looking at it. Lorenzo Kane potentially could start instead of Senzel. It's, it's tough. It's tough. And then when we look at the pitching, does Scherzer hold his value? Or does Kluber hold his overall? Do they both hold their overall at such an an age that they'll actually be better than what Andrew Heaney's gonna do I don't know I don't know I'm kind of thinking about maybe trading Heaney for a reliever and then just giving Scherzer or Kluber a shot I mean what's the worst that's gonna happen we we fail yes so let's do that all right Heaney and Robert are getting traded for Davinsky I know I trade for him a lot but um I was looking at other potential relievers that I would go for and a lot of them are already players that I normally go for anyways so we're gonna go for Davinsky and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a shot might as well let's see what happens do I want Kluber yeah let's go with Kluber a one-year deal let's bump this up a bit he's gonna take it and then uh yeah that's the team I, I like it
I like it. So um, as you can see, we made a couple a couple additions to the team. Uh, free agency, I found Guadalupe Tavares. His vision's really bad, but he's got some speed, decent power, potentially could be a decent platoon player for us. Corey Kluber, obviously. Uh, Chris Davinsky, we just traded for. And not much, uh, oh yeah, Knabel, Ryu, Daniel Morris, or Norris as our long reliever, and then Ryan Presley. Decent, decent off season for sure. We've really strengthened this bullpen. I like that a lot. And then when you look at our lineup, everybody's high rated. Um, I thought we have like Tim Martinez that we could use. And I'm actually starting to think, do we? No, I'm just going to leave it. I was thinking about signing Lorenzo Kane or somebody, but we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. I like the team a lot. I feel like the development of players has been really good. And I feel like we still have that Mets core, which is always important to kind of keep. So let's see how this final year of the rebuild goes. So we finally won the division. Finally, 94 and 68, taking on the Rockies, a team I don't really think I play that often in the like in franchise at all in the playoffs. We're fifth ranked, second in contact, third in pitching, 12th power, 21st defense, and 17th for speed. We won the division by five games, which is good to see. Uh, awards. Brandon Nimmo won a gold glove. So Reese Hoskins won back-to-back -back MVPs, and then Cody Bellinger won it the first year. Eloy Jimenez, and then Bregman the previous two years. Chris Sales won three straight Cy Young. Patrick Corbin, De DeGrom, and then Nola. Okay. Doolittle, Jansen, Jansen for reliever of the year. And then Jose Fernandez won it this year. Last year was Nick Anderson, and apparently no one won it in the first year of this rebuild. Um, let's take a look at this rookie. Not terrible. Doesn't look too bad. Um, let's take a look at the American League or the National League one. Marco Luciano looks pretty decent. Looks pretty decent. Connor Joe and then Helio Ramos. So definitely some interesting players there. Hinjin Rio had five complete games. So let's take a look at our pitching. See how well it did. DeGrom just continues to be really, really good. There's no reason not to get him in a franchise. Marcus Stroman definitely struggled. We're going to move him down for sure. Zach Wheeler did very well. Glad we kept him. He's been one of our best pitchers throughout this rebuild. Corey Kluber proved to be a good signing. Had a great season. And then Rio also had a really good year. So I'm glad we signed that. Daniel Norris struggled. Kind of assumed that would happen. Miller struggled. Garrett did well. Devensky did well. Presley did well. Knabel struggled. I'm going to move Devensky to the setup. And then Diaz is there. Okay. Um, we had some good options down here, but it's I'm liking I'm liking the bullpen that we had. Not too many people struggled this season. Looking at our lineup, Jimenez did struggle. Yikes. Nido was okay. Tavares struggled as well. And then JD Davis did quite well. Jeff McNeil is like the perfect leadoff hitter. If you can get him, do it. Brandon Nimmo is doing quite well. Glad to see that. He hit 20 plus home runs throughout the entire rebuild. Pete Alonzo. Not sure why he's going down in potential or overall. He had a really good year again. Michael Conforto had a little bit of a down year, but um, in terms of average, but home runs and RBIs still really solid. Even 31 doubles. That's good to see. Um, Ahmed Rosario, 10 triples. That's good. That's good. Nick Senzel, 244 average. Meh. Wilson Ramos was a, a ser serviceable catcher for us. Pretty solid. Um, I expect him to go down. He's aging, obviously. Dominic Smith did pretty well as our like DH platoon player. And then Wilmer Flores was a good pickup. I'm actually glad we had picked him up um, in free agency. So that's the team. Kind of liking what's come like come together. This team's actually really solid, well-rounded. And this whole time we've been well within budget. I think this is the like a lot of players are entering free agency. I probably wouldn't bring back Stroman, probably not Kluber either, or Ramos. So you definitely have some money to work with. And I think you'll be set. So let's take a look. Let's see how this goes against the Rockies. We advance. Nice. All right. So Ryu. So these two guys are going to be tired. So let's go DeGrom. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, it's not that I don't trust Ryu. It's just I want my best foot forward. So DeGrom versus Alzali. We lost two to three, really? Interesting. Hendricks, Wheeler, we win one nothing. Five to seven, we lost. Five to three, we win. We win that one, so we're up a game, and we are in the World Series taking on the White Sox. So everyone's gonna be healthy. Everyone's gonna be full strength. Let's get into it. Who's struggling in the postseason? No one at all. It's just, we're just getting bad luck of the draws here. So. Let's go into it. Let's see how we do in the World Series. We take game one. 
we take game two we take game three and heading into game four i i have a feeling this might be our world series chance guaranteed right field they need to pick a name for this field it just it changes too often we're gonna go ryu hop into this game let's see how it goes all righty lucas giolito let's get let's get a hold of them early Dang it, Ahmed Rosario. So they got Anderson. Mateo, I think, is a rookie that they drafted. JT Riddle's new. Billy McKinney. So there's a couple new names here. All right, that's a good start. You know, we got out of that little situation there. All right, good start. There's a leadoff hitter or leadoff runner. And then we don't score. So come on. We got to get something going on here. We can't let them score early. And we need to be that first one to get that run in. A triple. We get out of it perfect so only two hits on the day that's that's not good at all um single that's good to see Ooh, ooh, okay can we get this sack fly in we can't but jeff mcneil delivers we have that one run lead that's fine with me probably ryu's last inning which i'm cool with zach birdie comes in alonzo walks conforto walks ahmed rosario two run double love to see it Wilson Ramos brings in another one. And we're going to keep this going. Bases loaded, two outs. Come on, Alonzo. Lines out. So we're going to take him out. We're going to go to Davinsky. He goes one, two, three, which is perfect. And we're going into the ninth, which means we're going to bring in Edwin Diaz. And we're going to enter the game with the five-run lead. Might as well do it. Let's see how this finishes. All right. Eloy Jimenez, 0 for 2 with the walk. Going against Edwin Diaz. It is the final chance for the Chicago White Sox. Can Edwin Diaz get us the win? 0-2. This might be a quick little segment here. Normally, we get pretty good. Last chance for the White Sox. This might be pretty quick. 0-2 already. And he fouls it off. No outs here in the ninth, obviously. This is the first batter. But that's a good start. We get the first out. Fly out to Nimmo in left. He's going to make a catch. Perfect. Yoan Moncada. This is a guy I'm kind of afraid of. Got some pop off the bat. But if we're painting corners like that, I have a feeling we're in a good spot. Ooh, 0-2 early on the fastball. What's he sitting? Nice little change up in the zone. Oh, just outside the zone and we get him swinging. Two quick outs. Here we go. Mets, can we get the win? Oh, okay. AJ Reed keeps the inning alive. Is that going to be a ground rule double? It's not, but it is going to be a double nonetheless. All right. JT Riddle. Fans are getting a little, little wily, a little crazy here in the ninth. Maybe a little rally going. I mean, they're down five. They're down to the last out. JT Riddle's not really the guy I'd want up to the plate right now, but who knows? He could do some damage. All righty. Down to their last strike. Fouled it off. I thought we had him there. I didn't think they'd expect two high fastballs. We're going to the changeup down and away. He's got a little bit of speed, but this should be an easy out. There it is. The sweep of the Chicago White Sox in the World Series. And we've won the World Series with the Mets. That's another World Series in these off-season rebuilds. So far, they're going pretty well. So I am going to take away the celebration just a little bit, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like I've mentioned, the budget's actually set up really well where a lot of aging players are leaving the team. And we've built a really good core with these Mets. We still have Conforto, Nimmo, Alonzo, Ahmed Rosario, Dominic Smith. The pitching of DeGrom still got a couple seasons. I think got one more year on his contract. You got Wheeler. Um, I think this team's really, really set up for the future. And I enjoyed doing an off-season rebuild with the Mets. Let me know which team you'd like to see in the comment section down below. And I'll definitely try to get an off-season rebuild with them done. Like I've mentioned, I really want to focus on the teams that didn't make the playoffs first. And then we'll move towards the teams that start getting eliminated as we keep going. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop it a like. Subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.